leak code 39 combination sum will be very chill. Are you ready? Given an array of distinct integers candidates and a target integer target, return a list of all unique combinations of candidates where the chosen number sums to target. You may return the combinations in any order. The same number may be chosen from candidates an unlimited number of times. The test case is generated such that the number of unique combinations... Okay, blah, 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 blah. Look, we have candidates 2, 3, 6, and 7, and our target is 7. So we just need to find ways to create 7 out of these numbers. And we are allowed to reuse numbers, so that is very important to note here. So we have 2, 2, 3, and we have 7, and these 3 will make 7, and this alone will make 7. So therefore, we return both combinations. Our input is 2, 3, 6, 7, and our target is 7. And we're going to make a decision tree, so we have an empty list, and we want to try to go down each and every path. So we have 2, 3, 6, 7. And if it's below 7, then we want to keep going. If it equals 7, we want to add it to our list. And if it's greater than 7, we want to get rid of that branch and not continue down that path. So we go 2, we can go 2 again, we can go 3, we can go 6, and we can go 7. Now, when we do this, we can just analyze really quickly what this looks like. 2 is less than 7, 2 and 7 together make 9, so we don't want to continue going down this path. 2 and 6 make 8. Don't want to continue going down this path. 2 and 3 is 5, and 2 and 2 is 4, so we want to continue to go down these two paths. Let's look at the other numbers. When we look at our first level, we notice immediately that 7 will get us our target, so we actually want to add this into our list. This is good. Okay, going back, all of these other ones, because they are less than 7, we want to continue down. So how do we do this? We could do two again here, but you might quickly realize that if we go down this path, three and two is the same thing as two and three. They will make the same path at the end of the day with the same numbers. So we cannot have that happen. So this branch cannot exist. So therefore we should only start three out at three and we can continue on with the remainder of the list because every number that we do with two will already have all of the three, two combinations in it. We do three, we do six, and we do seven. And the same can be said for six and three and three and six. If we put three here, that will give us the same combinations as three, six. So we can't do that. We have to just do six and seven. Okay, great. Now we can also mark out three and three gives us six. So we can continue down that path. This gives us nine. This gives us 10. Six and six gives us 12. 6 and 7 gives us 13. We don't want to continue down those. So for these three paths, we can keep going. We can say 2, 3, 6, 7. And again, if we go and do 2 here, it will give us the same as 2, 2, 3. Or yeah, 2, 2, 3, because it'll be 2, 3, 2. So we only want to start at 3 here. So do 3, 6, 7. And 3, 6, 7 here. Great. Um, we'll quickly realize 3, 3, 3 is 9 too much. 336 is 15, and 337 is uh, 16. It's too much. 233 three gives us 8, too much, and so we know all of these are too much as well. Now, when we look at this, we know 6 and 7 will be too much, and 222, two, two, we can keep going. On this level, we see that 223 two, is equal to 7. So we add that to our list. Now, we keep going for 2, and we can go 2367. But we already know that all of these are out of range. Here we go. We have a final list that we are going to return. What the heck? Final list that we're going to return. We have our backtrack function. We have a current path, which will be current path is like it could be equal to 2, 2, and then continuing on or otherwise. Then we have our current list that we're looking at which will be the sliced list that we're going to create from having to do this where we don't want to repeat numbers. And then we have our total sum, which we're going to call sum one. Now we want to say if sum one is equal to target, then we want to add to our final list. Oh, dot append. We want to add current path and then we can return. Then we can say else if sum one is greater than target, we don't want to continue down that path, so we can just return. And then we have else, which is when it is less than target. So this is less than target. Okay, so we want to iterate through our current list for i in range 
length of current list. We want to add to our sum one. We'll add sum one plus equals current list i. Okay, so we grab the current value that we're at and then we can start to backtrack. And for our backtrack, we want to add current path plus current list i. And then from there we do current list. And this is where we slice starting from the current index that we're at. As you can see, we always start from the current index that we're at when we're backtracking down. So when we go down three, we only start at three instead of going back to two. Okay, and then we add in sum one. And for the backtracking aspect of it, we remove the element that we just put in. Great, so we can call backtrack. We can start with an empty list for current path. We have our candidates list as our current list and our sum one is zero. And we can return final list. Let's run it. Excellent. Perfect. Let me know what other questions you might want to see.